What kind of sauce would you like? What's up, Hot Sauce fans? My name is Jeremy Blanchard. This is Hot Sauce Fan. Thank you for joining me. Today, I have something special. It's the coveted Torchbearer Sauces Honey Badger. Accidentally healthy and intentionally delicious. Gluten-free, it's got killer on the front of it. It's got a nice little, uh, it's kind of funny. It's, it looks like a badger, yeah, a badger, and a woman riding the badger with, um, Viking gear, I would say. Viking gear. <laughs> uh, it's got a sh she's got a shield and a sword. Uh, probably a shield maiden of some sort. Ingredients are apple cider vinegar, scorpion pepper honey, uh, distilled white vinegar, water, canola oil, brown sugar, mustard pepper, Carolina reaper pepper, white sugar, cayenne pepper powder, black pepper, turmeric, uh, mustard seed, granulated garlic, salt, and garlic out of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, torchbearersauces.com. It says refrigerate after opening. There's a huge debate on whether you should refrigerate these after opening them. I, my guess is that you don't necessarily need to refrigerate them unless you want them to last like two years. And in my fridge, they don't last very long. So I think I'm just gonna pass on refrigerating them because I would need like four refrigerators to eventually, I'll need four refrigerators if I wanted to refrigerate all the sauces that I have. Let's um, let's break her open. Uh, the, the, the sauce kind of looks mustardy. Got a bunch of flex in there. It looks really beautiful. All right, let's get her open. And shake her up. And if you haven't already, you know what I'm gonna say. Like, subscribe, you know, shake your sauce. Don't taint your sauce. And, um, you know, go get your sauce on. No pop. Mmm. I can smell the mustard right away. It's going to be a nose burner, it seems like, anyway. I can smell the honey. Let me get the spoon out. Love this little case here. It keeps it from getting dirty and, and all that stuff. It says, chase the heat. Don't taint your sauce, bro. It's really thick. Like, this stuff is going to be hard to get out. really 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 thick like like <laughs> I can't I can't pour it out thick all right so I'm gonna have to jostle it a little more whoops run away run away man one of these days I'm gonna be doing a review and I'm gonna chuck this thing like behind me or ahead of me or on the table and break. That'll be an interesting day. Okay, I got a little bit of, I can't even tell you what this looks like, but it doesn't, it doesn't look right. <laughs> oh, come on. You silly. I and mean, this is really thick. Like this is so thick that I'm, I'm, Tempted to just pack her back up and send it back. Can't get it out. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, that's a good healthy spoon there. That's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be a nose burner for sure. I don't know what the heat is on this thing. I love mustard sauces or mustard in general. I love it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, cheers. Mmm. Woo, it's got a kick. But the first thing I tasted was the between the mustard and the honey. And then the the heat went right into <laughs> Right into uh, overdrive. Whoa, that is 
Very tasty. Whew. Oh, gave, I got the hiccups. Probably because it's so thick. Oh, yeah, that's mm, it's hot. It's not so hot though that it's destroying my mouth. It's just I can I can feel the heat. Like if if you ate like a like a habanero pepper or something. It's um, that type of heat. Uh, it's really good. If if I didn't think that I'd get cat cramps or stomach pain from it, I would uh, I would have a lot more of that on my. I would put it on salad. I'd put it on. I mean, it's thick enough to be on salad. Um, anything breakfasty. English muffin, uh, biscuits, and I, I don't mean the English biscuit, I, like a cracker, I mean American biscuit. Um, actually, you know, a cracker would be good, it'd be good on a crackers too, but I can see this on wings, for sure. It's, it's super, super, super good. I can see why everybody's raving about it. Honey mustard. It didn't go into the nose like I thought it would. Um, I, I, I figured that this would be right up my nose because mustard, like Dijon and that kind of stuff, or uh, anything that has like horseradish in it, goes right to my nose. It went right to the back of my throat. That's really where where this sits right now. It's not. Um, it's not hurting my stomach, thankfully. So far, I can feel my stomach rumbling, but it's not hurting. Um, let's see. There's 30 milligrams of sodium, four grams of carbs because of the sugar, I'm assuming. I mean, you know, three grams of 2% uh, sugar and one gram of fiber. And then three grams of added sugars. That's probably why it's so good because it's got a bunch of sugar in it. <clears throat> one gram of protein. Whoa. Scorpion pepper must hit the back of the throat. I haven't had scorpion pepper, so I'm not sure about that, but uh, it is very, very delicious. I would highly recommend this brand. Okay, well, that was that was the honey badger. It's really good. I could, I'm probably going to end up using this a lot if I can get it out of the bottle. It's so thick, it's, it's really hard to get out. I love the graphics on here. It's a really, really creative graphic. It is a little bit wider gap on this than the uh, than a lot of the other sauces. So like, yeah, yeah. So this one has you know maybe a finger width gap. This one's probably a finger and a half or two, two fingers, two finger gap. So, you know, this is the bravado spice, the blueberry, ghost pepper and blueberry. I can't wait to try that. <clears throat> but, oh my gosh, this is pretty good. So heat, I would say it's probably between zero and two. The hot sauce scale that I've come up with to try to rate this in a way that equals up to 10. Um, so that I can give it a step-by-step review on exactly what I think about each individual aspect of the hot sauce between the label and the actual hot sauce, the heat, the consistency, the flavor. So so heat, um, between zero and two, I would probably give it somewhere around 0.75. It's not, it's sort of like a, um, a one would be five. It's not really a five. It didn't really burn. It didn't really do anything for me. I love the taste of it and the heat just kind of sits in the back of your throat, but it really didn't do a whole lot for me as far as um, being ex extraordinarily hot. So, but that being said, you know, I have a tiny spoon, so it's, you know, it's just a tasting spoon. Maybe a, it's like a four out of 10. If you if you want to know out of 10, it's probably a three or four. But I'm, I'm going to give it a four because if you ate 
more than what I just ate, your mouth is going to be on fire and your throat. Flavor. You taste the honey and the heat, well, the scorpion pepper, I assume, and the um, mustard. Of course, I'm sure you taste the sugar and all that stuff, but the, the prominent flavors for me were the, uh, the honey, the mustard. Zero to two, I would give it a 1.5. It's not my favorite, but I do really like it. The two means that it's outstanding and it's, um, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't hit my mouth quite as well as a two. So one and a half. The label is rocking. I love the label between zero and two. I'm going to give it a two. I, I love the graphics. I love the creativity that went into creating the graphic. I love that the label shows two finger widths uh, on a, on a, on the bottle showing the, all the beautiful sauce that's in there. The ingredients. So between zero and two, I'm going to give that a one, but I, I don't really think it needs sweet. I mean, if you're going to add more sweetener, just put more honey in it. So we did ingredients, we did label, we did heat, we did flavor. Now the consistency is extremely thick. Like I had a really hard time getting it out of the bottle. You know, I mean, I can literally put that upside down for like 10 seconds and you know, it starts to come out that first initial burst, you know, once it started coming out, it was good. I think that it's just getting eh, bottlenecked and, um, in, in there from the, from the top layer sediment, uh, not sediment, uh, from the top layer of stuff that's at the top there. So because of that, it was having, I had a hard time getting it out. Thickness and consistency. Between zero and two, I'm going to give it uh, 1.25. I had a hard time getting it out. I love the thicker sauces though, because it just kind of coats your tongue and doesn't go anywhere. Um, this is, which is probably why it sat in the back of my throat. And I'd rather have the burn in the back of my throat than on my tongue and on my lips. All right, so that is the Torchbearer's Honey Badger, the, the I'm sorry, yeah, Honey Badger, Honey Mustard. Uh, I thought I was saying it wrong, but Honey honey Badger, Honey Mustard is really good. Uh, if you, if you want to go out and get a bottle, go to torchbearer.com. I'm sure that, that uh, I don't know how much they cost, but uh, I got this out of Heat Nest subscription box. So, and that was, I think, $36 a month. I'm not sure. But I have so many sauces, I decided to pause my subscription for now. Okay, thank you for coming. Like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope um, next time you see me, I will be doing the Toe of Satan. I am not looking forward to this because it's a basically a lollipop. That is 9 million Scoville units, heat units. And I have seen people do it and they're just like, and they're, they're like, eh, why am I doing They're They're questioning their life choices. And I have a feeling I'm going to be doing the same. And I, so I'm going to have to prep my stomach for that because there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to handle 9 million Scoville and not get cat cramps. So that's coming up. So yeah, stick around. It's gonna, there's going to be a lot of other fun things. As soon as I hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to do take on the uh, Johnny Scoble's Death Nut Challenge, which is the, called the Tube of Terror. So I'm going to do that. As soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I'll get that video in the bag. And hopefully um, it'll be unedited so that you can see that I'm not messing around with uh with anything so that it'll look it, it will be legit thank you for coming by like subscribe share i hope you have a great day this has been jeremy blanchard with hot sauce fan thank you for coming go get your sauce on what kind of sauce would you like <laughs>